Hey, it's Telly Tuesday, but every now and again I keep finding this guitar and I keep thinking there's something very wrong with it um, because the frets are really worn down. Um, it really needs refretted. But it actually still plays really good and I really enjoy it, even though it is a bit... <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm playing this because this pickup, I did obviously fit it, but... The reason I had to do that was because this guitar came with, um, the pickups were all gone, but there was a big massive cut out with a kitchen knife hole on it. And I thought, oh, cool, get a new scratch plate, but a telly scratch plate's not quite big enough. This is a different shape. And so if you put a normal telly scratch plate, it only kind of goes to here and you can see the bit where it's all chiseled out. So I just kind of super glued what was left of the scratch plate together and put this pickup in just as a... To fill the hole basically so the way that this is wired is we've got two these are fender geosonic pickups um from a mexican fender uh, I, I, I just like the look of them right and then so basically it's a three-way toggle switch see that these tellies this is like a this is an antoria which i think are fuji gen or matsumoku i can't remember i think they, I've, I've seen one that said Matsum. that might be a matsumoku guitar so I've seen one that had the steel adjustable neck plate on the back, assuming that was original. Uh, it comes with a, a million different makes of the headstock, including Ibanez. Um, this, you can date this one by the fact it doesn't have the dot stop here and this metal um, thrust rod cover. So it's a 73, I think, something like that. Um, but you can tell these because they've got the, the bridge is the same shape as the ashtray. This pickup is backwards. So there's one screw here and two screws there. And it's got the... The control plate has a Les Paul type toggle switch and the output jack's on it. Um, and you can't use a normal te Telecaster scratch plate on it either. Uh, so I put this in just for to fill the hole. What it done is, but the wiring actually worked out to be pretty interesting. Um, so just a normal Telecaster with a three-way toggle. But when you pull up the push-pull pot, actually I even went to the effort of getting the right knobs. Two cages to get these ones and white jazz bass knobs were the right choice. Um... It's kind of an aesthetic reason why I'm doing this video a little bit as well. Um, so that knocks, it uses this coil of this humbucker to make a humbucker out of these two using half this pickup and this pickup. So you get like a, a neck pickup and then a neck humbucker. So I'm still using, I'm only using, you can't use this pickup on its own, but I'm using half this, this bit, this pickup, this bit, this pickup. Um, I did the same with the bridge, but... I think I put them out of phase. Uh, there's, uh, that, there's the amp now. Bridge on its own, then boosted. There's a funny wee thing going on there, which I think I might... The reason I'm doing this video is because I might replicate it, because what I found... Uh, well, I had this ages ago, and I knew it was useful for something. never really picked out. Got this pickup out of an Ibanez RX, which is... is it's almost exactly the same colour of off yellow, so I think that would look better in the middle pickup position. Um, it's actually might be exactly the same pickup that what's in there. It's black though. It's from an Ibanez Geo, and this is an Ibanez RX. So neck pickup. I just think that looks wise, yeah, it's one of those things that I was trying to hide it. You know, I was thinking you just put a sticker over it or just make a bag plate all these things are really obvious that you've repaired it so that was why i put this pickup in and the black pickup didn't look right so i put this metal cover on it which i actually do quite like the metal cover but it's kind of overpowering in this guitar i think that would just be a little bit classier looking it just looks modded in the 70s these are crazy wee guitars though i'm actually i'm going to go with a safety net watch this mr white state jim right so you just so you're not not doing any tricking there it is coming out the guitar I'm going just the amp. None of your, oh, I'd like throw some chorus on in the backgrounds just to, nope. Oh, we better reverb, nope. Delay, nope. Overdrive, oh, I've got a drive channel. See, you he, he, he can hear the, the no pedals tone. I mean, these are all, I think, I think they're all true bypass, but is that, to be fair, all my stuff goes through that loop pedal, which has got like an input gain on it, so it's kind of, digitizing it or making it not true not true real real tone yeah so here what sounds can we get at this amp this amp has very few knobs on it i love this amp um we've got a clean channel with volume bass and treble and then we've got a dirty channel with gain volume and dirty shape
I do like these uh, Geosonic pickups. I basically put them in because I thought they looked cool. Back. in the humbucker. See, that, that's the pickup I think's wired right. This was always a bit of a, an enigma for me, this guitar, why it did this, but um, I remember working it out, it wasn't really that complicated, but I can't remember what it was, but I remember it not being that complicated. There is a, there is a solution to why it does this, which makes perfect sense. that bridge pickup thing so if you're in um this is just in the middle position these must be unless they're at a phase but I don't think they are because there's the bridge what a sound though See, that's that's what I'm thinking I'm, I'm checking to make sure how this is wired um in case I want to do it again unless I do it properly which is what I actually wanted was you know that idea about turning it into you can just Basically, it's like a, the reverse of a coil split. It just adds a coil in. Coil adder system. There's actually spider's webs going between the tuners in this guitar. I think it's really showing the colour up very well. Let's give, give some... Yeah, it's more yellowy. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I was saying there. So. That... Yeah. Obviously it'd be nice to put a Demarzio Super Distortion in. But it's only just dead minute to fill a hole. And then I've got to decide whether I want to try and find a, a white pickup ring or not. I just think this guitar is a wee bit... A wee bit cool. And that's a bit brutal, I think. Um, also, it kind of looks 90s or modern. I kind of want something that looks a bit more grotty. Buckard's Bridge. See, that might be um, phased in. Single coil. Bucker. Yeah, it is.
Yeah, that's the bridge pickup as a humbucker. And with the neck pickup, yeah, I'm gonna do this again. The, with the neck pickup on, works fine. So there's your neck pickup. Bridge pickup. And then in the middle, it's just both of them. But the other way around, if you phase that, you get bridge humbucker. Neck, single coil. But in the middle, you get this. Phasey. I put all of them, both of those fuckers. In. It really, this guitar really does have its own sound there. Eh? Part of that's probably to do with the really low flat frets, though. It's determined to be a telecaster, no matter how many pickups you put up in it, though. Definitely, if I do decide the next couple of days I'm going to put this pick up in, I think I, I wish it, if it stayed on it, maybe it might tape it on to so I get used to looking at it. Yeah. And then maybe ditching that. I do, that, um, that pick up ring is structural though, because the pick up's all just, the scratch plate's all destroyed, so it's kind of screwed straight into the body actually holding the scratch plate on, or holding the scratch plate together. So it needs to be a pickup ring. I'll see if I can find a white one. Um, I just think, think this guitar could be a wee bit cooler. I mean, I'd, obviously, um, it's very similar to this one. Well, it's the same. They're both in the same catalogue and the same page at one point. Um, this being a couple of years later, like this design came out in like 1971 or something like that. And they've got the bridge. It's kind of got this ashtray shape on it. Um, and the saddles are kind of bits of angle iron and... It's not, this one's more, so this is the 72 Telecaster Custom. So they must have got one of these, since this is a much more accurate copy to a Telecaster. Um, so do they normally have the back scoop on them? They have the Fender ones, but this has got the, the proper ashtray bridge, or it's still got the backwards pickup. It's still got the same pickups as this one would have had. Um, but it's just a little bit more accurate. You know, it's got, it's got the four volume controls and then the output where it should be, whereas this one has its toggle switch and... A little bit, this is basically more, more, a more accurate copy. This one's amazing as well, though. But very different from this one, even though they're both. And obviously, the temptation is um, to try and get the Telecaster Custom. That's a Deluxe. That's a Custom. Try and get the Telecaster Deluxe is the other one. And there's also a thin line. Um, the Deluxe, which is the one with two hub, two of those wide range humbuckers in it and a Stratocaster headstock, only comes in brown. This one only comes in this aged cream colour and that one only comes in black and you can get them in about a million different names in the head. Um, these used to be, like back in the early 80s or something like that, you would be rocking one of these as an awesome cheap guitar and just pure, wow, I can't believe you can do that without a real Fender. It's amazing. Whereas now... When you see these, you very rarely find them um, at the sort of prices that they should be at, kind of thing. Um, they're expensive, um, and I suppose I'm getting the opportunity here is like because this one didn't have the pickups in it and stuff like that. I mean, that when I put that back to original, it had uh, a very expensive Seymour Duncan in it and a real Fender bridge and a real Fender bridge pickup and chrome knobs and stuff and when I bought the guitar it was like yeah cool and then so like, do you want these the old stuff that I took off in 1986? It's like yes. Original pickups, dated to 1974, original knobs and all that. Um, so worth, worth, worth a wee bit of money now, I suppose, something like that. Um, probably as much as a classic vibe one is. But you, 
can't, if, that's what I mean is if you buy one of these, even if you get it cheap, say you pick up one of these for 100 quid in good condition, you kind of stuck with it. You can't, you've got to leave it original because it's an old 70s guitar and it's cool. You can't be going, oh, I'll just cut a big hole in it, put a humbucker in it. Don't do that with that. If you want to do that, just buy a Squire, you know, something that's replaceable. <laughs> We go with this. Um, I was talking, I meant to mention this the other day. This thing I got off Temu, the thing that you just basically, I bet you it looks good in this guitar. It just, it's like, yep, done it. It's like, I'm, I think I'm just, just putting turbo on it. It's just, um, it just goes. I don't mean it goes out the door, I mean it goes well. <laughs> It does sound a bit different when you even like I think it's just the is it capacitance of the cable. It's more responsive just running straight into the amp. To be both really distorted and really clean at the same time. I think it's kind of like a bridge pickup with a turbo boost on it. Turbo. That's the most ridiculous. But I mean, that's how quiet it actually runs when you don't, you're not using tons of gain pedals, you just use the right guitar. That sounds like it should be given to the people. Ooh, maybe if it was up louder, it would be. It's really a good idea just to put the amp on full halfway through. Those valves ain't been on for a while. Maybe I'm better off. I'm not sure that switch in front really made any difference. Just frazzle that amp. Just really recent, recently found out expensive these things are. And... Yeah, okay. It's like, but see what happened there was see when you turn up, my big Marshall does this. I turned it up there and basically the volume doubled, but it sounded exactly the same. 
therefore it didn't sound louder. It wasn't any more distorted, if anything. It sounded quite a cleaner and crisper. I don't know if I turn it back down again and go, oh, where's it all gone? That's where my big, my big Marshall bass amp's really bad for that. It's like, you turn it up and it's like, pure, oh, let's get some... Oh, I get some, get it sounding loud. You turn it up, and you you keep turning it up, and it never ever ever gets distorted ever. It just stays clean, and then you're like up here, like, not really getting that. So it doesn't really sound very loud. And you turn around, and the drummer's just shouting at you, hitting a cymbal, going, "Can I fucking turn that down?" And you never heard them at all. <laughs> It's like totally that's a total better button. <laughs> it's so much better having if I'm having it on full. Telly's are the best guitars and some of the old ones, if you see any of these. You, it's, it's quite, you'll probably end up start seeing this exact one, well, without that just normal looking pickups in it. In fact, no, the um, the original is, you know, the, the neck pickup on a Telly is like that, the silvery one, the one with the chrome cover on it. On this original guitar, they were both, so was the bridge pickup. I believe that one should be like that as well, but uh, the cover's just missing, I think. Because it, it doesn't have a cover, but it's definitely the original pickup because it matches the neck one, and they're both mad pickups. I've never, never seen anything else. So have a wee look at. Uh, I keep that. I'm going to refret. I don't know. See, I don't know whether I want to refret it as part of its. These frets have done forty years of gigs and stuff. This done a musician union sticker on it, so this is a proper gigging guitar. One of those ones where a lot of guitars kind of look the same. So I thought it was just a wee cheap telecopy, yeah. But they may all look kind of the same, but some of them are just a bit special. Um, spotting them is the difference, because if the thing with something like this, you know, if you find it at a car boot sale or something, there's a fair chance this will cost le less than a squi the squire that's next to it sort of thing, because it's just a telecaster that, you know, it's the sort of thing that if it doesn't have any strings on it, you'll get it for you get 20 quid off it kind of thing um, but they're not worth any more or well, there's still a possibility of finding them you know you're not I doubt you're going to find one that says Ibanez on it um, even though it's exactly the same guitar the Ibanez one will be a few hundred quid anyway just because most people have heard of Ibanez it's a name they've heard of I don't know but that kind of works well with the Squires as well because you see an awful lot of um you know, it's, oh, it's a Fender, because it does, it does, the, the Squires do say buy Fender on them, so it's like a Fender Stratocaster, and it's like, it kind of is, this doesn't say telly on it, it does, it does say made in Japan on it, look, look at that for buck, buckle rear, there, that's a proper relic, and we're talking, none of this, some guy with a, sand, a belt sander or sandpaper in like that, look at that, buckle rash, and this thing, it's coated in inch thick Bakelite type. I mean, this 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 is a real, real relic. None of this, no, no artificial, aging this at all. I mean, it's like you know, pawn shop super special, but it's a stunning looking thing, isn't it? There's a there's a thumbnail. More, we got it right. And even if the fingerboard's pure worn out, it's a three piece neck. I love these tuners. They're just they look like the shitty ones, but see if you actually look at the, the buttons, they're really really thin. Like that, and they're so that pure, oh cool, pure thin. So it's somebody's like an oversucked sweetie. Some big nice neck cracks in it. And there's my, I put finger bleeders on it as well. Just to give it that proper 70s vibe. 70s, but. I wish it would stay, I wish it was somewhere would stay there so I could. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a bit... Rock on, but I'll wire it exactly the same. I'm pretty sure it's an Ibanez. I'm 99% I'm, I'm sure it's an Ibanez pickup that's in it anyway. Uh, like a modern Ibanez pickup, so it'll be the same... Maybe not exactly the same model of pickup, but the same way of wiring it. Rock on, catch you later.